Hey guys, what's up? This is Gormizer, and I, uh, this is actually going to be linked to from my 1.5 review, because I messed something up pretty bad. As you can see, I spawned a, uh, super flat world and built two houses, and you might see this daylight sensor. What I did wrong was that when I made it, I didn't do the negation right. So, when I had it going on the video for my 1.5 review, the daylight sensor actually read no matter what during the day or night because it was coming off of the redstone torch. It wasn't coming from the sensor at all. But now I've fixed that. As you can see, it is sunny out, so the daylight sensor is, in fact, giving power to these two things of redstone right here. But with this block and the redstone, I had to look this up and read about it to understand it completely. Hi, Ipo. That's my new house. Um, well, I guess that's not my new house. That's my new house. But... It sends its power, and what this little doohickey, I guess, I'm not entirely sure what to do, because it's just a block with a redstone torch, but it does, it will take that signal and then output the opposite. So while that is on, this is off, and I also have the actual uh, way I did this. Over on this house, I actually added some, and as you can see, you can kind of peek in and see that I have them going on in there. That one shouldn't actually be on, I didn't. Uh, do this entirely right. Uh, not as right. I was trying to do this one as uh, a little more fancy. And so, as you can see, I actually just deleted, uh, destroyed my thing. What I was trying to show off was that you can negate it and get the light going. Hold on, I'm going to go ahead and replace this back to what it was supposed to be. And then, originally, I actually had the daylight sensor here. So, where's that? There it is because I need this to work so I don't look like a total idiot. There we go. All right, back over here. You can see this. I showed that off a little bit, but this is the better, this is the more open, easier to see version. So light comes and it turns on because it's a light sensor, so it's supposed to turn on. This tells it to turn off, so all of the powder after this is turned off. And as you can see, I have redstone repeater set up. What this does is redstone, when turned on, only travels a maximum of 15 blocks. So if you laid this straight, it would go 15 blocks straight, and then it would stop. If you laid down a 16th, it wouldn't work anymore. It might be 14. I can't remember if you count the first one or not, but uh, if you count the power source or not. But as you can see, this is set up like this. I have it set up to light every single one of these lights. Uh, with redstone lamps, all it has to do is go to the block next to it, so this will light all of these and all the ones in the middle. And that one I added a couple lamps, as you might be able to see. So I'm going to slash time set 15,000 to make it nighttime. And as you can see, the daylight sw sensor switched. It's now sending off, but since it's sending off, this is sending on, and all of the lights are on. So if we just go ahead and walk in, and look, here's quartz. I finally I found a use for it. We go in, this is a very empty house, but it looks really nice on the inside. And so just imagine playing, and as it slowly becomes nighttime, your lights start to come on. And so one thing I do need to point out, though, is that this, is, this sends a signal based on how much light it is getting. Which means that it has a lower signal when it's... Uh, like early in the morning, like right now it would have a lower signal, so I think it goes out four blocks total. But as you can see, I kind of, you know, got around that because there are only two blocks, which means the minimum amount of light, which would be nighttime, it would send none, but since it's sending none for two blocks, it'll still work. So this is always going to work if you use two blocks. You can also use one block. Over here I have the setup as one block, uh, daylight sensor one block, and then, as you can see, there are all the lights in there. I have redstone repeaters going around. Uh, some of the lights. I added these corner lights on all four corners, and then these two lights at the very end. Uh, and you can actually see these two. I made this out of the quartz because I wanted to use it. And I put beacons on the top because it makes the house look nice. But, as you can see, redstone repeaters, if you don't know what they do, uh, they repeat the signal from the redstone. So if that is on, then it will send this band. And it's on based on ticks. Which means right now it's set at one tick, I think it's like one, four, and then it just continues going up like that. So you can make it so I it could come on, and then the signal would get here, and then it would wait a little bit, then send it to these, or you can have it as instantaneous as it gets is there. 
the more of these you have, obviously, the more delayed it gets in the long run, but it's still fine. And so that will work. If I slash time set 1500 or 15,000 again, you will see all my lights come on. I can walk up into my house. This is the exact same model as that house. I built the same thing twice just to show this off. But as you can see, there it is. And this was also I, this is also part of my excuses to show off the quartz. When I was building the house, I wanted it to look nice. I used stone bricks. I have the diamonds, four beacons on the top. And here's the redstone. Again, it's working. I'll come over here to show off the circuitry a little more. But I think this has been... With this update, I decided to start learning the redstone. That's the only reason I really know what I'm doing. As you can see, after the repeater, it's really, really bright each time. And that's because that's where the signal is going to be strongest. Uh, I think that's really cool. I just I like redstone, except for the one thing about it is the it's really, really hard to hide. Like, when I was doing this, I was trying to think of the best way to get all of this to work. If I didn't have these corner lamps, I could have gotten it to work, no problem. But I needed to get it to work without and now I actually see a way if I moved the daylight sensor from there to not there but to there maybe no it doesn't connect right doesn't seem to but that's just just my uh, interpretation I like redstone it's hard to hide but it it adds some really cool things to the game uh, I've seen some really cool things done with it I can't wait to see what some people are going to do and this has been a rel this has been a lot longer than I thought it was going to be I thought this was going to be like a 2 minute video when I just talked about but I wanted to correct to that because I was watching it again after I had uploaded it. It's on a scheduled upload right now. But I'd watched it and I, I realized that I got this so, so wrong that it wasn't even funny. So I had to uh, had to redo it because I knew some people would t uh, point that out. So I put the notes up on the, on the video so when it comes up, it does point out, yes, I do get it wrong. But this, I made it specifically, I'm making this video just for that video. There's no other reason to make this unless someone wanted to see the circuitry, in which case this is the uh, the basis of how it works. You need to know this. Uh, I'm pretty sure this would work uh, even on maybe on top. And if I put like a redstone there, I'm not sure. I've not played around. Yeah, see, that doesn't work. So you, it has to be set up just like that. And then if I uh, slash time set zero, you'll see that it will, once again. I like showing that, that aspect off, and that's kind of cool because it, like, it was a slight delay in the time from the lights. I like that, but um, I just wanted to show this off. This, uh, this circuit, this is like the sloppy circuit. This is the kind of thing that I remember like when I first started ever messing with any redstone, I would make this kind of thing. Uh, the stairs and everything, because I wanted to hide it, but I didn't know how. And then now, of course, you get things like this, where it's really easy to hide it, but then you have to figure out how to get it installed just so you can work. If this was a switch, I would uh, probably just drop it down through the wall. But that is just the gist of how to use the daylight sensor. I'm sorry I got that wrong in the previous video. Uh, hopefully that isn't going to upset too many people, especially now that I've... Um, you know, corrected it, and let's see, I'm pretty sure, yeah, but the daylight sensor is something I think, it's something I think is really cool about this mod, uh, update, not mod, update, I keep doing that, uh, some of my mods have actually, uh, updated, so I probably will be doing some, oh no, creeper, doing some reviews soon, but as you can see, that's just a simple how-to, I guess, of mod, of the redstone daylight sensor. And so thank you guys for watching. I'm really glad that I could do this. I actually really enjoy this. I can't wait to try and apply this in my actual game. Hopefully uh, I can get a server that I can play on that will allow me to do these. I have fun with them. So I'm pretty happy that they have added more redstone stuff. I still don't quite have the hang of other stuff. This is really the only one I've studied in depth because I think it's the... Personally, I think it's the coolest one. I like the idea of having like just one daylight sensor right back there that will light up all of this. But I'm hitting about almost at 10... Uh, I'm at 9.5 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and drop it now because this was just a long me repeating myself over and over and over again. I kind of realized that, but... Thank you guys for watching. This has been Gormizer, and this is the daylight sensor. I'm really glad I could help you out. Um, if... I'm going to put up an annotation on this video and the video that is actually linking to this video of uh, 
my mod reviews. If you want to go check those out, they are outdated right now. I will be doing my mod reviews more, uh, coming up soon. Until then, hopefully you guys will keep enjoying the content, uh, keep you know having fun playing Minecraft, and it's raining now. But this is actually, I'm going to tack this on at the end. I've wanted to keep this under 10 minutes, but... Uh, even though it's raining, as you may know, as I said, this is dependent on the amount of light it's getting. But since it's two blocks, uh, it doesn't matter. No matter what happens, as long as you keep that as two blocks, or I guess four blocks or less, uh, you'll be fine. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you guys later.